Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to shut down your WD MyCloud Drive. You probably have the same problem that I did when I first got my new WD MyCloud hard drive. You took it out of the box, you plugged it in, you connected it to the network and it started running. You went through the setup process, registered your product, activated your MyCloud account and you started putting some data on this hard drive. And now it's the evening, you want to go to sleep and you want to shut down the hard drive, but there's no power button. So you wonder, how do you actually turn it off? Now, first things first. The WD MyCloud is a NAS which is designed to be run 24 seven. So you don't really need to shut down like a normal computer or something. Also, it doesn't consume a lot of power, but I think that would be a pretty bad excuse for not putting a power button on it. Also, not putting that option into the web interface, which is designed to manage that particular device. So I wanted to go to bed and the hard drive kept making just a small amount of noise. Not really bothering me and I could fall asleep, but just knowing that it's on and absolutely useless all night long kept me up. So I stayed up till 4am trying to find a solution for that. So while digging through forums, I came across different solutions. The first one is obviously unplug the power cord and that's it. That's a pretty bad solution. Actually, it's not a solution at all because you will just decrease the lifespan of your hard drive. That's a bad idea. So we crossed that out. The next idea is to run a command through the console via SSH and give a command for this device to shut down. But then again, this is a consumer electronic product. So as a company, you cannot expect people to open up the console and type in some commands in order to simply shut down a hard drive. That would be very stupid. And I think it's too complicated for most users. So we're not going into that. You can also use external software, which is designed to manage hard drives and you can shut it down like that. But again, as a consumer, when I buy this product, I don't want to install more software than I need to. And I just want it to work. So I, I refuse to do that. I'm just mentioning it as an option for you. If you're running multiple hard drives, it could actually be a good option to download and install a program to manage your hard drives, which will then allow you to shut it down. So these three solutions that I came across weren't really what I was looking for. They were either too complicated or unnecessary or just harming the drive. Anyway, the absence of the power button both on the hard drive and in the web interface still bothered me and kept me up. So I did what you should do first, obviously, but never really do. I downloaded the manual and what I found was quite interesting as well. See, in the manual, it specifically states that there are two options to shut down the device. One in the upper right hand corner, just below the logout button, and one a bit further down where you can manage the device. The funny thing is, even in the manual from the manufacturer, neither of these options is shown. They are missing. So what do we have? We have a hard drive without a power button, with a web interface without a power button, and with a manual stating that there should be a power button, but not showing it. So I had a further look at it. The solution to this problem lies within a firmware update. And this firmware update makes the power button within the web interface disappear for some strange reason. I don't know why. It seems odd to me but they haven't fixed it until now. I have the latest firmware for my device. So it turns out for some people, this power button or shutdown button in the web interface did exist, but then it disappeared after an update. Also, people who are using older versions of the software still have it. And people who are using different MyCloud devices also seem to have this power button this means this is a very, very specific problem for this WD MyCloud device that has only one bay. And I'm now going to show you how you can make the power button visible. So you log into your NAS drive, wait till it's up and running. And then you head over into the login area 
I mean that corner where it says reboot and log out. This is where the magic happens. You click inspect. I'm sorry, this is in German, but you click, you right click it and hit inspect. Um, this will open up the custom style sheets where it basically tells your computer how and what to display. And you can see here, there I highlighted the home reboot link and one column above that, this is the shutdown link. And you can see down below display none. This code tells your computer or your browser not to display this part. So we replace the none with block. Watch what happens. Boom, it's there. So the shutdown link was hidden all the time because I don't know why. But in the code, you can see the code tells your browser by default not to display it. I'll change it back to none as it was before and you can see it disappear. So this is all it is. It's like five letters that make your life harder five letters of code. It's really, really annoying. But yeah, it's how it is. So anyway, um, I changed it back to block so I can display it. And now I'm actually trying to, yeah, put it to sleep. So <laughs> let's try that out. I'll hit hi hibernate and uh, it asked me if I want to put it to hibernate. And now it needs a while to shut down actually. So it's saving all the data, it's slowing down the drive and, you know, running its shutdown process. This is how you properly shut it down. And now Neuladen means uh, reload. So I refresh the page. And now you can see that it actually disappeared again. This is because the part of the code that we change is only in the browser. It's not on the hard drive itself, so we are not changing any code on the hard drive. Yeah, and you can see some, some error codes, but it's all right. This is because I refreshed the page too early. It was still in the process of shutting down. And while doing that, um, I tried to access it again. And that's why it's putting out these, yeah, these error codes, but it's nothing to worry about. So once you hit reload again, you can see the device is no longer accessible. This is this is an error page. It says uh, I cannot reach the device. So I see that this IP is now offline and my device is hibernating. Now, the next question is of course, how do you turn it back on? As you can't reach it over the web interface and it doesn't have a power button, the only way to turn it back on is to give it a signal by unplugging and repowering it. Now, of course, this is very impractical for everyday use because you're going through all the trouble of finding that shutdown button and then you have to manually reach behind the hard drive again just to get it back on. So the easy solution to that is using a switchable power socket. Because again, all the device needs to turn back on is a simple drop in voltage and then having access to the power again. So yeah, this wraps up the video. I personally found it really strange that the developers would hide a function like that on purpose, I guess. So I thought I might share. To me personally, it was actually so annoying that I decided to make this whole video about it. So I hope I could help you with that so that now you can finally turn off your WD MyCloud drive and put it to sleep when you want to. If you got any value out of this or I could even solve your problem, please consider subscribing and give the video a thumbs up. Also, I'll have some really cool projects coming up next, so stay tuned by hitting that like button, subscribe and don't forget the notification bell. See you next time. Mm -hmm.